hello everyone hope you are doing well so in this video we'll discuss the last problem of lead code weekly contest 319 it's a hard level problem uh, the problem name is maximum number of non overlapping palindrome substrings so the problem statement says that you are given a string and a positive integer k to select a set of non overlapping substrings from the string s that satisfy the following conditions now what are those conditions the first one is the length of each substring is at least k and each substring is palindrome okay return the maximum number of substrings in an optimal selection also a substring is a contiguous sequence of characters within a string and then we have certain examples right so let's see what the problem is trying to say so we are given a string s and an integer k okay what we need to do is we need to divide this string in set of non overlapping substrings okay and how we need to divide we need to divide such that each substring okay you you need not cover all the characters okay so each substring has a length at least k okay at least k and every every substring is also a palindrome okay these are the two things that we need to see let's look into one of the examples so first example is a b a c c d b b d okay and k equals to 3 so it means that i need to find i need to divide this into set of substrings who are palindrome and also the length of each string is at least 3 okay at least it can be greater than 3 as well okay so let's try to see so this is one of the palindrome right a b a the length is 3 and this is a palindrome what about c c c c is a palindrome but again length is not equal to 3 length is less than 3 so you can't pick it up what about this one just see d b b d yes it is a palindrome and the length is 4 so that means we are able to divide this string we are able to form two valid substrings from the given string okay so two will be my answer in this case let's take one more example so uh, a d b c d a k equals to 2 so just see is there any string any substring of length at least k equals to 2 which is palindrome so you can see no it is not we have just single character so you cannot form any valid substring from here so you return zero in this case okay right so this is what the problem is trying to say now let's go into certain observations and then uh, basically some intuitions okay so what what is a palindrome okay so a palindrome is suppose a b c b a the length of the string is 5 so palindrome means if you read it in this direction or in this direction right we get the same string right if you reverse this string what you get a b c b a So this is a palindrome, okay, right? This is a palindrome string. Now, what could be the possible palindromic strings? Either the length of the string can be even, or it can be odd. Okay. In case a string is of odd length and palindrome, so what will happen? One, two, three, four, five. Suppose, okay. So this character equals to this character. This character equals to this character. Like. and this can be any character right this can be any character so for odd you just need to check the first half and the second half the middle character can be anything okay this is for odd what what is for even 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay this needs to be equal to this this needs to be equal to this and this needs to be equal to this so that means you need to consider the first half and the second half and you do not have any middle character which you need to skip right this is for even right these are the two things that we uh, that that we need to observe right now one more thing this was the first observation the second thing is suppose i have a palindrome a b a right now if i so this is a palindrome i can extend it to make it a palindrome of larger length for example i add z here i add z here okay so what i mean to say is if there is a string of length l which is palindrome right which is uh, palindrome so like in this case the length equals to 5 so initially we found that initially we found that the length was 3 and what i have transformed it into we have transformed it into a string of length equals to 5 right so in this case what i mean to say as soon as you find a string to be palindrome like a b a as soon as you find that this is a palindromic uh, substring so 
there is a possibility then that when you add more characters it remains to be a palindrome or it becomes a non palindromic substring but the gist is that as soon as you find that a string is as, as the substring is palindrome consider it into your answer because because what will happen here suppose this is the given string okay and i start from here so i found that this chunk is a palindrome this chunk is a palindrome so what will happen or, or let's take a complex case suppose i consider this part okay i consider this part so if this is a palindrome right and this is also a palindrome that means these characters form a palindromic substring and these characters also form a palindromic substring then that means greedily i will pick up this one right because there is a possibility that these remaining characters form a palindromic substring with this one these palindrome this remaining sub uh, characters can form a palindromic string uh, substring from these things right so in what i mean to say is, is whatever your algorithm is you need to do it greedily because as soon as you find a palindromic substring you are done now uh, just just leave the remaining characters to check that is there a possibility that uh, the remaining characters can form a uh palindromic substring uh with a combination of the other remaining characters right so this is what i mean to say right this was the second observation now rest is more or less implementation so what i have done is suppose the given k okay in case the given k is odd so what will happen like in this case suppose it is 3 so what we will do what we will do even if i find a substring of length equals to 3 we are good to go right we are good to go this is the minimum length that we need to find so from your string sorry from your given string start finding the uh, first uh, check for the odd length okay first check for the odd length that means here your k is odd that is 3 so what do you do if k equals to 3 that means 1 2 3 i need to check this part and this part this can be anything if k was 5 1 2 3 4 5 so check this part and this part this can be anything right so based on that what you do you just check that can you suppose your, your i goes from 0 to obviously length of string so just check starting from here are you able to fi uh, form a substring which is of uh, which is of odd length right which is of odd length and is palindrome right if you are able to find then we are good to go otherwise what will happen if k equals to 3 we check that okay i was not able to form a substring uh, of length 3 but can i form a substring of length equals to 4 can i do it right I, I check that can i do it so in that case what will happen in that case this is your string so 1 2 3 4 check the first part check the second part right so if this is the case check this part and check this part right so this is the thing that you'll do this is for k equals to odd now what is and in this case we are for for when k is odd first check for odd condition because you want to use minimum characters to form a palindromic substring however when you are not able to find uh, odd length substring then go for even because just see here here you are consuming three characters and here you are consuming four characters right so that is why let's take the second case suppose k equals to four that is even in this case what happens start with here you started with odd checking and then go, you went to even if you did not find an odd string here you start with even right because suppose i say that the minimum length that i want is four so if four is not possible then i'll check for five right i'll not check for three i, I have to increment the length so that is why first check for four and if, if that is not found check for five right check for five so this is what i have done rest is more or less the implementation right and uh, this is the final thing that i have done let's let me show you the code right so here you see answer is initialized by zero this is the length of my string and see the first thing if k mod 2 is not equal to zero that is if k is odd now again you can write a code which is totally different from this that was a contest in which i wrote the code so i i uh, i was short of time so i just wrote whatever though the code is long but i i wrote the code uh which 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 had the correct logic okay so just see here i equals to zero i less than l okay you you go till l now check in case of odd first check for odd length okay this is what i told you right now what is the length i need to consider if k equals to odd if k is odd so what do you need to do you just need to check for <coughs> sorry you just need to check for if, if k equals to 3 so either you will check for 3 or you will check for 4 so that is what i have done here k plus 
k mod 2 is equals to 0 then add 1 because in case of length 3 you either check for 3 or you check for 4 right so that was a, that is what i have done um, if i plus length consider is greater than l then you break it because you want to consider a string of length suppose uh, 3 then you need 3 characters right if it, that is not present just break now h1 is basically the first half right i have my i i know what is the length i need to consider now this is the first half right construct a substring from the first half what do you do string builder left equals to s dot substring i i plus h1 so suppose i am at this point how many characters do i need to consider h1 right so suppose h1 is 2 so 1 2 consider these two characters how do you build the right string right in case of what so what you will do till this you have consumed now remember you need to skip the this character right you need to skip this character because what i told in case of odd length skip the middle character whatever it is i'm, I'm not bothered about that right so what you will do from where you will start you will start from i plus h1 plus 1 this is my starting point and for for which length you will go plus h1 these are just inbuilt functions so it can vary for your language okay so i find the left and the uh, right part i compare if these two are equal i increment my answer and since i have found out greedily uh, a, a valid substring i increment my i and what will be my i so i consume my substring till here so i I'll, I'll check from here now so i equals to i plus h1 plus 1 plus h1 right continue in case i was not able to find for odd length i check for even length that means in case k was 3 i was not able to find it for 3 i'll check for 4 so what i'll do now again just see length considers consider it equals to this right uh, because i'm checking for even length right so again the same logic again the same logic you here you just see here you find the left part right now here you find the left part and here you find the right part now just see the difference between this line and this line so in in this case you have an extra plus one just see and in this case that plus one is not there why because in case of even length so one two three four consider this and this However, in case of odd, you were skipping the middle one. So that is, you were skipping. For that, I added plus one here and not here. Again, you compare, increment your answer and then i equals to i plus h1 plus h1. And here you see i is equals to i plus h1 plus h1 plus one, that extra one here, right? And Or else, if you did not find neither this nor this, increment i plus plus. Skip the current character and check it for the other ones, right? This is what I have done. Now come to the else part. Else is when k is even. So when k is even, you first check for even. So just see, it's the, exactly the same code. I have written first for even and then for odd, right? And finally, I return my answer, right? Um, so yeah, that's it for this problem. I, I hope you learned something new from this video uh, because this was a totally different question. But yeah, relatively easy, easier than the other four, uh, level four questions that you get into the contest, right? So yeah. If you find this video useful, then please do subscribe to the channel. Also like the video. In case of any queries, uh, do let me know in the comment section. I'll, I'll revert on each one of them. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.